There are over 350,000 tank cars on the rails of North America, and more than a third of this fleet is used to transport flammables, such as crude oil and ethanol. In the U.S. and Canada, the primary car type currently in use is the Legacy DOT-111 tank car. Legacy DOT-111 tank cars have a wall thickness of 7 16 of an inch, half-height head shields, minimum protection for fittings and valves, and lack adequate safety features to prevent dangerous buildup of internal pressure. Oh, mon Dieu! Oh, my God! Unfortunately, these minimal safety features fail during the July 2013 rail disaster in Lac Megantic, Quebec, when an unattended 72-car freight train carrying crude oil derailed, resulting in the fire and explosion of multiple legacy DOT-111 tank cars. Tragically, 47 people were killed in the accident, and roughly half of the city's downtown area was destroyed. With the energy renaissance driving up demand for crude by rail shipments, tank car safety has never been more important. In 2014, American oil trains spilled crude oil more often than in any year since records began in 1975. In 2014, there were 141 unintentional releases compared to an average of just 25 spills per year between 1975 and 2012. While the majority of oil and gas shipments reach their destination safely, for the estimated 28 million Americans and Canadians living within one mile of a major rail line, more needs to be done. For this reason, Greenbrier is excited to announce a safer tank car alternative for hazardous rail shipments. The Tank Car of the Future Design, or HM251, lowers the likelihood of release by as much as six to eight times, keeping people safe and protecting the environment. Leading by example, Greenbrier designed and produced the tank car of the future, well ahead of pending government regulations. Our tank car of the future features a new high-capacity pressure relief device that is specially designed to reduce rising internal pressure. Top fittings protection with a patented 9 MPH rollover protection, 9 16 inch steel tank walls, 1 half inch thick full head height shields at both ends of the tank car, the addition of a 1 half inch ceramic insulation and a 1 8 inch steel outer jacket, and a bottom outlet handle configuration that prevents an inadvertent opening in the event of an accident. How do these new safety features compare to existing tank car models? A conditional probability of release, or CPR study, was conducted by the Railroad Supply Institute and the American Association of Railroads to measure the likelihood of a tank car spill at different speeds and tank car types. At 50 miles per hour, the CPR improves from 45% likelihood for standard legacy DOT-111 tank cars to just over 7% with the tank car of the future design. Alternative proposals to improve safety by slowing train speeds to 35 miles per hour only reduce CPR from 45% to 25%, a significant improvement, but nowhere near as effective as sending shipments in tank cars of the future. On a broader scale, relying on slower speeds to make crude by rail safer will result in a more congested network, causing delays in the delivery of many other commodities and harming one of North America's most strategic economic assets, our expansive railway network. With the tank car of the future design, velocity can be maintained while the likelihood of release in an accident decreases between six to eight times. Greenbrier's tank car of the future is the safe choice and is ready to join your fleet today.